Hey guys, welcome to the uh, unflipped video, I guess. Uh, it's going to be up on Vimeo in uh, shortly so that you guys can watch it tonight or if you just want to watch it before the lab. But this video, not really required, I'm just going to give you a little how-to. So you got here, I have side-by-side, -side, I have Microsoft Excel, you're going to want that open. And I have the Achieve Weatherbug site, you just go to achieve.weatherbug.com, uh, do the normal login stuff, and then when you get logged in, uh, pick, you know, our school it'll tell you something's broken and it'll tell it it's dumb and then pick whatever camera doesn't matter and then get on the screen hit tools right here and then you want weather observations the first one so you hit weather observations and it's gonna open you up a new window here they are and then we want daily observations now what's really cool about this graph is it is actually a graph so you can just select everything like I'm doing here with a mouse select everything do a little control C right click copy come over here in Excel do a little control V paste now the reason that we're doing this is so that we can get some good data to do some statistical forecasting right so we need to go back a few days here we're on March 9th hit previous head on back to the 8th Again, copy everything. Scroll on down here to the bottom. And don't worry that you're going backwards, it's fine. And just keep on going like that until we get through a few days. Now, I want everybody to do this until you get about 100 or so. Well, let's shoot for about 110, 120 points of data. So again, I'm just clicking previous get everything now you want to make sure you don't want to get this every time or it'll be in your way you just want to get that the first time and then after that make sure you're just getting the numbers control C click over here control V and it's going to keep putting it all in order see how that is it puts it all in order really nicely like for you so there we've got 97 let's do one more hit previous one more time there we go to the fifth select just the numbers control C control V and then here we have there it's nice 121 days of data and to make your life a little easier click on the view ribbon see that right here the view ribbon you click that click freeze panes freeze top row now this is only a new office an older office you gotta select the whole row go into the semblance or something similar to view freeze panes sometimes it's in a panes menu or something else if it's open office and then you can see when I scroll you still see that first row now that makes it really nice because then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start selecting at cell 4 because we've got all this other stuff if it makes your life easier select both of those give it the old right click and delete that way you know exactly what you're looking at is everything you need so let's do relative humidity and t and let's do uh, let's do relative humidity and barometric pressure that sounds fun so you just grab the humidity now if you hold shift and start hitting page down see it'll scroll and it'll get everything or you can hit the first one hold shift come all the way down so there we've got all the relative humidity selected I'm going to hit control to click over here then hold shift and I can click just this row if you hit shift you're going to get all this in the middle you don't want that so you want to control click the top then let go of control hold shift and you can scroll down you don't want to hold shift while you're scrolling or to zoom so you shift again click down there and now you can see I've got all the relative humidity all the barometric pressure selected so now with those I'm going to go up to my insert ribbon click scatter do the normal scatter only markers nothing else selected what that's going to do is insert a graph real nice and in the middle of everything right there so then what we can do get that out of the way because we're done with it and just make Excel really nice and large right here maybe if I can there it is then you put your graphs off to the side do the normal graph man manipulation and so you see here we've got pressure on the y-axis and we have relative humidity on the x-axis you might have to go in here and alter your axis uh, format axis if you feel like you're not seeing all the data go from auto go from fix give it a nice zero to a hundred stuff like that and you know just do you know what you think is right 
to get good data so you can look at correlations. That's just a little how-to. Uh, you're going to be doing this today in class. Thanks for watching.